Last but not least, man. I'm glad I'm glad we're talking about this. Joe Budden, Charlemagne, the God, this whole beef going on. Um so basically You mean Leonard? Well Leonard. Len what's his last name? I don't know. Okay. But I'm not calling him Charlemagne. The okay. God. Call I'm not calling the God at least. Whatever. Anyway, it's weird. So that's a full, Joe that's Button, a, that's a loaded Joe Button goes on, and it's a big thing, man. It's much bigger than them two. It's a good conversation. That's why we want to talk about it. Joe Button basically went in on his podcast, uh, saying that you know they're out of their Spotify deal. They have like five or six more episodes done, right. and then once their contract's done, they're leaving because they're saying that Spotify essentially ripped them off. That's essentially what he's saying. Right. You know, are not making good on their deal, and they deserve more. Right. We don't know the numbers involved, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not paying. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the numbers guy. Sorry. Like, how much are they getting ripped? Because, like, Spotify okay. is spending a lot of money to have Spotify exclusive podcasts. Before we get, there's a lot of them that's jumping, jumping. I know their retention Spotify. rate, guys. It is amazing. Like right now, our retention rate, in a, it's like six. It's like six, maybe six minutes, maybe six seconds. I don't know. But his retention <laughs> rate, bro, it's like well right. over two plus hours. Who? Joe Budden's oh, podcast. Oh, oh, he was. Like I remember watching. To- right. Got it. But the, the crux of the whole thing is they made a deal. They're on a contract. Now he's complaining about it, dude. When you when you make a deal, when you sign contracts, it's your job. It's not the company organization's job to babysit you and make sure that every nuance of the deal is taken care of and you're happy with it. You look at the deal. You have your lawyers look at it, and that's that. So I I, I don't know why he. To me, like, I he obviously he's incredible at what he does. But when it comes to like contracts and deals i feel like because he's so loud his bravado is so big it 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 tends to people pay more attention to it did do you get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and i'm talking about volume just Uh the way he speaks you know and i feel like you know and they're they're ripping me off and blah blah but at the end of the day you signed a contract it's really like i don't even know why we're talking about it or why they talked about it for two hours you signed a deal you're not happy with it so just leave and that's what they're gonna do 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 you think part of it is like blowing it up to make it content that's great that you brought it up. I think so. <laughs> yeah, because we're, we're talking like about it's, it. It could, like, on paper, it's like, oh, I don't like content. Ah, we're just going to leave. It's no big deal. Guys, but then you blow it up, make it this guys, big thing, he, and make people watch you. And this have dude complained thing. about not getting a, uh, I'm paraphrasing, a, a Christmas bonus. A bonus, right? A Number, Christmas bonus. Right, a bonus. Spotify? And then they got Rolexes, right? Spotify wa- wanted Ooh. to say thank you. They got Rolexes. But I don't know if he was joking or not. You can stop me. I don't know if they're fake, ro- uh, not fake, but they were used Rolexes. It doesn't matter. And then the day, if it's not in the deal, don't expect anything. So you should be glad getting anything. So mm. why are we even having this conversation? Why is no one asking these questions to him? You know, he's got his little cohorts around him and they're just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're not even saying a thing. Like, sorry, man. It's just like a contract's a contract. It doesn't matter if you're with Spotify or you're with any company. That's what it is. I it's mean, not a race thing, man. Well, I mean, that's a loaded topic in itself. But, you know, what I would say is for his situation, um, black people are used to being pulled left and right, regardless of deals he feels that he's worth more because he's made Spotify money. And he probably is, Niall. No argument there. But you signed the contract. Okay, he, and that's why they didn't renew it. What's the problem? Well, the problem is he's making a big... He's complaining about it. He's talking-ish about all of them. You know what I mean? Like, the problem is that... Well, yeah. It's not even a problem, man. We're just having a conversation, right? But he's just... He's making it out like it's their fault. It's not his fault. There's really no fault here. You sign a contract, just make do. It's kind of like, let's say for football players, they sign a contract and they're not happy with the deal, you know, two years in. It's a four-year deal. Well, you finish your four years or let's say their value becomes more. Their value becomes more during that four-year term. I mean, but you already signed the deal. You can't, you can ask for more money, but the company, the NFL doesn't, or, you know, the team doesn't have to give you more money. Is Mm -hmm. that fair to say? Uh, Yeah, I guess. But I mean, it's okay to complain about how the company you're working for is yeah it's a free country you're right i mean it's a free country. like sure. those I, companies can be shitty in places like spotify places like a lot of uh, every, i mean all of them they don't treat their employees like they should they don't well, pay I, them I, like I, they should words. i would love to be on spotify we would love to be on spotify <laughs> anyway keep anyone going. from spotify that's watching not, go ahead and just give us a call we'll him. take we'll I'm take his deal assume anything whatever anyway, their i just know was, how we'll capitalism works and it's usually but that's the way it is man well i mean you have to speak out about it to change it. Yeah, but you shouldn't he, just accept getting banged in the ass. He's not, but he's not getting banged in the ass. <laughs> yes, he is. He's not. That's why he got off the shit. Right, but that's his choice. That's what I'm saying. Because he's getting banged in the ass. Justo, Justo, do you want to be impartial here and like voice something here? Come I'm going to try my best. <laughs> what do you mean? This is con- this is just very black no. And white to I me. so like I totally get what you're saying because you there's a contract 
very specific. You know exactly what you're getting when you, you sign, sign a contract. radio contract because we're both in FM, right? You sign a radio contract. It's just, okay. You sign a three-year deal. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to name the company. Sign a three-year deal. Year one, you get this. Year two, you get this. Year three, you get this. There's a bonus plan. Everything's set in place. Let's say your day part. Let's say you do afternoons. <laughs> Anything. Let's say you okay. supersede the whole station. It's called outperforming the radio station. Right. Okay. Got it. Outperforming means your ratings are higher than any day part in the station or the whole station collectively. Right? right. You don't get more than what's in the contract. Period. Yeah. Until right. you renew it. I would understand. And then the when it's after the three year after the three year deal. You negotiate. What no, not during the three year deal. No, after, after. Yeah. When the when the contract right. ends, you're like, hey, here's my numbers. I exceeded all expectations. I want more of this, Got it. more of this, more of this, less Got of that. It. Right. And they offered And that's less what they did. That because they offered less. That's why he didn't sign. They have a choice to. Just like they have a, they of have a choice. Of course. That's like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I get that. I okay. think a lot of it is just being, if the way he talks about things is so intense. That's the way it and is. Dramatic yeah. And dramatic. Right. And like it, hardcore. That I would understand great- if he was complaining during the process, but he started talking about Spotify after it ended. Yeah. Well, exactly. it hasn't ended that, yet. It hasn't ended yet. It's but like it's ending. Another, like another month. But it's like ending. He has a there's a finish it. line. Right. He hasn't renewed it. Right. So, I mean. That makes sense. I would understand. So I'm just saying he's talking about, oh, why are you getting a Spotify deal? He's talking about the issues he had with I mean, Spotify. I'm going to let you know right now, the, his man, not his management. Yeah, his man, manager is the same guy that Eminem works with. So, I mean, bro, Interesting. hey, I don't have to say to you, man. I mean, you know, that's his job. That's why you pay this dude. And you like, know what I'm saying? There's like, probably also like <laughs> he probably has another deal lined up somewhere else. He does. That's, that's going to be, I don't know, with what That will how. pay him what he's worth. I mean, yeah, he's incredible what he does. What they, was Charlemagne saying? Uh, well, Charlemagne was saying... Similar to what you're saying, they um, Spotify spent all their money on Joe Rogan, right? Right. A lot of people say that. Right. <laughs> he says it sounds to me like Joe Budden is a person who knows his worth but doesn't know how to properly negotiate it. Because if you keep doing deals with various corporations and you keep getting trash ass deals, that's on you. He said, like things like vacation days, bonuses, all mm-hmm. that has to be negotiated mm-hmm. in your contract mm-hmm. from the beginning. And so I'm not gonna say I'm not. I'm not even gonna go 100% in agreement with Charlemagne. I'm not going to say it was a trash ass deal, but essentially, yeah, I mean, you you have to know what you're signing. Right, but the thing is that, that what I was referencing when I'm, you know, talking about the Joe Budden is that Charlemagne people that are working for these radio stations, they're employees. They yep. don't own anything. Fact. They're employees. So that's how they think. When you are someone like Joe Budden who has his own entity, has his own entrepreneur uh, Yeah, he has his own business, his own LLC, I'm sure all that. He has, he can say what he needs to say and and, and Charlemagne trying to give advice to that is like, you have no say so because you don't have your own thing. So you are always going to be. So he does have a right uh, to give his opinion or give some advice. No, like we, no, no one has the right. It's almost like talking about like, you're not like you aren't an expert at at it you don't know what you're talking about so it's not you don't have the right to but like he's talking about Charlemagne. you need to stay in your place you're an employee i am not an employee i am someone who can move my entity around right fact exactly but yeah you're right you're absolutely he's an entrepreneur and you're right he uh he built his brand on his own he's not writing off i don't want to say the coattails but like all of us that work for corporations you're absolutely right i work you know i work for the corporation i get it but my question is this um does joe bun so spotify's organization right are they yes. business or so does Joe Budden was he or is he working for them? I don't uh, think con- I would, having oh, a contract. Hold on, hold on. Is he working for them? <laughs> I would assume it'd be a partnership, if yeah. anything. Not is an he employee. working for them? No, they're working for him, if anything. <laughs> I agree. If you have someone, especially someone who has their own thing going on, your your the contract is you do your thing I exclusively pay- through us and we get a cut. That's the we deal. don't know the You're logistics of the thing. deal, but they are paying him X amount of dollars for the for the podcast, mm-hmm. right? So at the end of the day, is he working for him? No, because that's I mean that, that's just like saying the Travis Scott deal is Travis Scott working for McDonald's? No, he's not. It's a partnership to benefit off of each other. Spotify is benefiting off of Joe Budden and his 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 brand his his uh, wholeness whatever. <laughs> and, uh, they're getting people. 
like me to listen to them on Spotify. People that yeah. maybe listen to iTunes, right. they're going to go on over. Spotify. Let me ask and you then, this. And then Joe Budden so, will get people from Spotify on his shit. Great. So did do, do you think Spotify paid for that, though? They, they understand that. we. This is not. It's an, it's an exchange. It's not, it's, an an exchange? Empo- it's not him working for okay. Spotify. He didn't so, work for Spotify. So let's say if I told you Charlemagne has a deal with the company he works for for digital assets. Don't ask me the specifics because I'm not on that level at all. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, where they get a certain amount of analytic, you know, and, and, and analytically speaking, if their numbers reach a certain amount of cum or numbers, what have you, and retention rate, he gets a certain amount of money on that. What's the difference? Charlemagne can get fired, mm-hmm. and it'd be very hard for him to get fired because he's huge. But I, I get what you're saying. He can get fired sure. though. That's the thing. You have the possibility. Of so, fired. he can say something wrong. That's why jo- Charlemagne shouldn't say anything because, like, whatever he says on camera, like it's half uh, 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 scripted and half, you know. Oh, don't say this. Don't say well, that. I'm not oh. gonna say that. You can say that. I, I'm not gonna. I say mean, that. that's what I know. Just looking at his conversation when he talked to Joe Biden. I mean. That's a some. That's okay, an employee. Okay. That's like someone telling him, "Hey, you so, can't say this. You can't say A, B, C, or D." So you're saying Joe Budden can say anything he wants and do anything he wants. Yes. If Spotify could not sever that deal. Like let's say he was saying, not without I, hey, I'm, I'm going to kill someone. I'm going to kill this dude if he doesn't give me my contract." So you're saying Spotify couldn't sever the deal because that's extremes, they, be, man. Well, I'm hey, extreme. That's not like extreme conversations call for extreme it, measures. There's difference between <laughs> policies at the job oh, and like you saying something like so heinous, we got to cut ties with you. Because there's most contracts have uh, things in there. Like if you say things about these things that go against the company's, um, right? What do they call it? Like, uh, oh my god. Yeah, like, like I mean, their gender, LGBT. Yeah, like, if they say anything too out of pocket, then they have the right to do something about right. it. Right, but I'm to talking about I'm else. talking about like Charlemagne, like literally can't like say whatever he wants to say because he has people behind him that he works for. Yeah, that's what Joe Budden's talking about. Is that you really don't have anything to say because you're just kind of like a tool for these people that can just get cut. I didn't say that, <laughs> but um, but uh, I, it. I, I, you so know, like, bottom I, I, bottom I line, he's gonna be grasping this. He's gonna you know? be fine regardless. He's gonna be fine. Yeah, I just it's uh, I I understand your side, but it's just hard for me to because uh, I think that he works f- for Spotify. There, I think it's a it's a contract. It's a contract. He doesn't work agreement. for Spotify. I think having a contract means you work for them. It depends on how it is. It's a contract because like, he was a he was also saying that they get bonus off. There's agreements. They get bonus off certain analytics certain metrics right i mean a company is bonusing you off they're mm-hmm. awarding you they're giving you something if you hit 3.5 hours i'm just you know throwing mm-hmm. a number out there then we will give you this you mm-hmm. know what i mean like let's put it this way i mean again this is just a conversation now but let's say I like know. right 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 right. why are you reminding me yeah, we're yeah, yeah, talking yeah, yeah i know <laughs> that's what a conversation he is well, you I, thought jump gonna, definition I thought, of a conversation. I thought we we're gonna arm wrestle after this but yeah. um, <laughs> no. but like i think you guys should totally arm wrestle spotify after. did not give spotify didn't have to give offer those rolexes right i mean if it's a collaboration they want to take care of them hold on a second right perfect perfect so they want to make the your your contractor it. feel like they're i love getting it something that out this of is it. a collaboration right so why doesn't joe budden give back hey you know what i'm gonna send you to jamaica guys it's a collaboration right right Julian. now hey man <laughs> you help me i help you nah. seriously I'm they're just, making that money spotify is a billion money. dollar co- corporation Really? And, and Joe Budden makes a lot of money too. Joe Budden is a partnership. He doesn't that, work for Spotify. Did I say Joe Biden or Joe Budden? I, I think you said Biden. I, I think I said yeah. Joe, Joe Budden Biden. is a partnership. <laughs> Joe Biden. He's not on the same level. Like we're 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 Wait, comparing you, apples to, to and tomatoes. Are we talking shit. about Joe Biden or Joe Budden? Talking Joe. about Budden. <laughs> talking about okay. Budden. Okay. Budden. Um, I, I don't know. I I I, I, I get go what you're saying. What, I get what you're saying, and it's a fine line between being employed, like having a contract. There is Travis Scott work for McDonald's? Yeah, exactly. He should. He's no, he doesn't. He's totally gonna uh, come. You out. call him a boss. You call him a CEO. I'm like, no, he's more okay, of a okay, salesman. Okay, 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 okay. If anything, Excuse Joe Budden's a salesman okay. for Spotify. No, don't take what I, mean, what I mean is like he is. F- <laughs> damn, I cursed. I'm supposed to do that. Nah, that's okay. he, he was making you a lot already... of money, like boss money. I should have probably chose my words better. What I'm saying is, damn, out of the hip hop game or just the music game, this dude is making a lot of money. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. You don't see like you know anyone else doing that. Okay, we can see that's I, mean, I don't. Budding. I don't see an Ariana burger. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Ariana okay. making more money than Travis for sure. Yeah, 100%. No, you're right. I you're absolutely right. I, I I I get what you're saying. I'm not I'm not 100 percent on it. I'm gonna go back to what you're saying. I think that Joe Bun is having this conversation because he knows exactly what the end goal is and that we're yeah. talking about it. 
Exactly. And you said that I don't it's, think it makes for a good like conversation. That. Yeah, dude, he's very dramatic. I think bro. it's going to be very dramatic. deeper. I mean, yes, he's He takes dramatic. this and makes it this. And I think that he knows that. He knows that. He's not stupid. I'm man. not saying all that, but I'm saying, oh, I'm going to talk about Spotify because, like, no, like, those things get announced. Spotify, Joe Budden deal ends. He's going to talk about it. He gets passionate about it. It's not like, oh, I'm going to talk about this because I know it's going to, like, he's going to talk about it because people are probably already in his mention saying, hey, man, I saw this article on Complex. Like, what's up with that? He's going to already address it. And then he addressed when Charlemagne was kind of belittling the whole situation of Joe, of Joe Budden, like, and his worth. It's not just about, oh, like, you got to get better deals, you know? So it's just, it's a deeper conversation that, like, black people we need to have our own like space own ownership etc like and not have to worry about dealing with these corporations these hey man white owned corporations can, that just throw you around because that's what Charlemagne okay. works for okay mm. that's fine i don't want to get into the that because i know we're going to get into like another 30 minutes i'll just end it like this <laughs> he's lucky to be where he's at okay i hope you you can agree with me or not he's lucky to have his platform he worked for it and then the day he could be in a lot there's worser situations. He's got his own platform. He's got his own followers. He makes multi, he makes millions and millions of dollars. So at the end of the day, dude, you're fine. You know what I mean? Just move on <laughs> after your five episodes. You're good. And if you want to freaking Venmo Joe some Budden, money. Keep using you know? your yeah. voice to, yeah, to keep fight doing the it. power. Keep doing it. But what I'm so saying is- So you can inspire people like me to not sign there you deals. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sign, yeah. Niall. Thank you, Justo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Reparations. <laughs> We're good, bro. <laughs>